How do children respond to their parents' separation? Now there's no getting away from the fact that parental separation and divorce is painful and involves change, loss and transition. It's important for you and your children to see separation and divorce as a process that doesn't end family life, but changes it. Hello, I'm John Hind, mediator, coach and trainer. Before I begin, I must convey my thanks to Sue Holt, psychologist and Anna Flanagan, therapist from the consultancy in Exeter for their support and their contribution to this short video series. Okay, managing the process of separation and divorce can be painful and challenging for your children, as well as yourselves, of course. This may seem very obvious to you, but it can be hard to hold your children's worries in mind when you, yourself, are in the middle of what is likely to be one of the most emotionally challenging and stressful events of your life. What we know is that there are common questions and anxieties that preoccupy your children when parents separate. We also know it's not easy sometimes for parents or children to talk about these issues. It can be easier to manage unreasonable behaviour or attitudes rather than explore the feelings and emotions at the root of the behaviour. So what are the sorts of things I'm referring to here? Well, children often worry about where they're going to live and whether or not they'll have to change schools. They worry that having to move home or school will mean losing their friends. Children have questions about how and when they will see both parents as well as other family members. Children worry about what people will think, family members and peers, and may be experiencing feelings of more shame as well as a huge sense of loss. Children ask themselves, was it my or our fault or could we or I have made it better? Children worry about who, if anyone's side, they should take. Children worry, especially an oldest child, for example, about being responsible for one or other of their parents' emotional well-being and also about what new responsibilities they will have to assume. Children worry about financial issues and fear they might have to give up things, for example, ballet lessons or football practice, to save money. They might be worrying about an awful lot when you separate. Some of these fears might be quite irrational but are nevertheless genuine worries for your children. It's important to understand that it is quite normal for children to experience these anxieties at such a time. As a parent you can't of course take the pain and anxiety away but by accepting that your child has these feelings, showing them that you understand how they feel and by talking about these things, you will demonstrate that such experiences are manageable and survivable. In this series of short videos, I'll talk to you about the following. Number one, how children respond to separation and divorce at different ages. Number two, the different ways in which children show distress. And number three, some simple ways in which you can make a difference. And number four, when you might need to find extra help and support for your children. So please stay with me and thanks for watching this series.